Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome to what is possibly the biggest news video on FNAF you have ever seen. Maybe not by me, though. I, I you know, I'm, I'm pretty crap. But, but the news that I'm talking about in particular is the thing that's awesome. You know, now that I think about it, awesome is not. It doesn't give the full. I don't know. It's just. It's not the right word to use. What I'm about to tell you guys is something unbelievable. Something that Keanu Reeves would say is breathtaking. Very, very recently, Fusion Z Gamer, awesome guy by the way, link down below, released a video talking about a new map for Help Wanted that was found in the game files. Here it is. Now, this map doesn't look all that interesting. It's just a giant room with some other rooms and hallways, as you can see here, next to it. You know, it's got some decoration like fans right here, 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 here. All around the place, got some more, what looks like, um, counters or maybe shelves or something. This looks like a control room. But it's not really the map in particular that's breathtaking. It's what folder this map was found in. The folder that this map is currently being held in is titled Multiplier User Interface. So not only do we have a new map, but we also have hints towards a multiplayer help wanted experience. This is unbelievable. For the first time in almost five years, probably more than five years, um, if I'm guessing when this is going to be released, we will be able to play Five Nights at Freddy's online with other players. That's just, it's crazy to think about. This map is called, f uh, not Freeze Tag, sorry, it's called Flashlight Freeze. And the map looks to be pretty, pretty huge. You can also see some ventilation shafts here, um, leading to other rooms like here to here, here. Um, the big room goes over into this smaller room off to the side. And just the fact that, I know, I keep saying it over and over again, but the fact that this is a multiplayer experience is just mind-blowing, honestly. Again, this is the first time in five years that we are going to be able to play FNAF multiplayer. Now, obviously, this doesn't give us much information, though it is pretty helpful because we can kind of see what base we're working with. This is the entire map for Flashlight Freeze. You know, like I said, it's very, very large. It's pretty open in the center, leaving, leading off into smaller rooms and hallways, along with some ventilation shafts leading from room to uh, room to room. And we don't even know who we're going to be playing as. We could be playing as an animatronic. We could be playing as some kids. We could be playing as, like, William Afton or Glitchtrap. This could be taking place during the day when everyone else is partying around. Or it could be happening at nighttime where all the characters are moving around. We don't know anything, really. So it's, it's mostly just up to speculation and what we think this map could be about. And I think I watched Fusion Fusion's video and he made a pretty... Well, he made several good points, but the one that I think is probably most likely, seeing as the game is called Flashlight Freeze, I think this is going to be some sort of red light, green light minigame where you start on one side, he picked here out of no reason, and you have to try and get all the way over here um, without being killed by another player, which may be an animatronic or it may not be. You also could have to do like Dead by Daylight tasks, like, it looks like there's a few electris- elect- I don't- actually, you know what, I have no clue what that is. <laughs> maybe it's some sort of generator like there is in Dead by Daylight, or maybe it'll take on kind of like a Case Animatronics 2 feel, where you have to find the fuel, you have to find, um, other things <laughs> that a generator needs to operate, or maybe it's not a generator at all, though that would be cool. Maybe, like, at the start of the round, all the lights are on, you get a cool cinematic shot of the area, and then you spawn in, and the lights just randomly go out, and at the bottom there's a text that says, you know, find the generator, and then you get to the generator that says, oh, shoot, <laughs> it's out of fuel, go find the fuel. 
and while you're doing this, you have to dodge other players represented as the animatronics. Who knows? We do know, um, thanks to the Funtime Foxy and Funtime Lawbit minigames, that Steel Wall has made a mechanic that allows you to move around. So having a multiplayer map that allows you to move around can't be that difficult. I think the only difficult part about this is not creating a map. It's not really about the mechanics. I think the most difficult part about this minigame is going to be the fact that it's online and that you can play with other people in your friends list on Steam or on your friends list on Oculus or HTC Vive or something along those lines. I don't really know whatever device you're on, but I do think the online part is going to be the most difficult part of all. Like I said, there's not really much to go off on, so it is mostly just speculation. But the fact that we have a multiplayer map hinted out, and Fusion said that this was found like a month ago, which is just weird to think about that there was a multiplayer UI folder that had this map in it, and no one addressed it. It's kind of weird to think about, but now, now that the game has been out for a little bit, and now that we have confirmation that Steel will all working on something thanks to their famous hmm comment, I think they're probably either working on a new minigame that's just small. Um, I was going to make a video about the hmm, but then I thought, you know what, it's just going to be lame. So, I might as well say it now. If I had to guess, I have a feeling they would either be working on a pizzeria simulator minigame with whole new models, maybe a salvage minigame where you're at the desk, and there's an animatronic um, across from you, and you got to, like, uh, look down at the paper, write it on, look up. That, or some sort of, like, sister location minigame, because they do have bitty bad marbles. Mar <laughs> bitty bad marbles. Bitty bad models and Minorino's models already made because those two are easter eggs in the game. But back to the multiplayer map. This is what the video is about. It's not about the hmm. Can you see? I, I keep using the zoom whenever I do the hmm just because I think it's cool. The fact that we could be getting a multiplayer help wanted experience at all is just insane to think about. Like I've said, it's just so breathtaking and crazy because again, the first time in five years this has ever happened across like eight games. It's just crazy. We've been waiting for this for more than five years, probably once it's released, like I said, and I just honestly cannot believe it. And I think the best part about this is not only the fact that we're getting our first ever online experience for FNAF, but the fact that Help Wanted is going to, its sales are just going to skyrocket. Because unfortunately, it doesn't really have much replayability. You know, once you've done all the mini games and you go back through them, it's like, alright, well the jump scares aren't really, you know, that scary anymore because you've seen them already. And the mini games, they are pretty short, especially like the repair mini games and the, um, the ventilation ones, those are pretty short. There's only two ventilation minigames as well out of four, so that's already half. If I had to guess, besides the Pizzeria Simulator and Social Location minigames, maybe they want to do more ventilation resets, um, or vent repair, or whatever it's called. But yeah, it's going to give the game so much replayability, and it's going to allow so, so many people to really, like share the experience of FNAF with their friends. Because FNAF, like I've said, for five years has been single player. And I think that's my least favorite thing about it, but now that we have almost confirmation that this is now going to be a multiplayer experience, again, it's just unbelievable to think about. And I think really the only depressing part about this video is that Steel Wolf has not confirmed that this is going to be the case. Though, the game has gotten several patches since release, and they have not removed that map or the multiplayer UI folder. So, I think it's pretty safe to say that they are working on some multiplayer experience, but again, they have not confirmed anything. But I still, <laughs> like, I know, it's probably cringy for me, for you guys to look at me and be just like, man, he's really freaking out about this, and I am! Because it's so, so cool. Multiplayer Five Nights at Freddy's, guys. Multiplayer. You play with your friends. You play with your friends while playing with Freddy. 
<laughs> it's gonna be lit, fam. So that is all the um, speculation I have to do, which is quite a bit. I apologize if this video is quite long. I know even I got annoyed when Daco made a 15-minute analysis about the <laughs> comment. 15 minutes, mate. What you trying to do here? But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, Fusion's channel is linked down below. I got a notification. Let me see if you guys can see it. So I can prove to you. Wait. Oh, wow. Look, new from Daco nine minutes ago. That's right. I don't copy him. Focus camera. Thank you. I don't copy him, goddammit. Uh, I copy Fusion, though. <laughs> yeah, so thank everyone so much for watching, and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye. What? You have not subscribed to my Twitch channel, twitch.tv.johnnyblocks. That's not the URL. It's twitch.tv forward slash johnnyblocks. Go sub now. Gonna be doing some streaming soon. Bye, guys.